When it comes to home renovations, Home Depot pretty much takes the cake for these kinds of projects. A little bit on the company's profile, the Home Depot Incorporated operates as a home improvement retailer. It operates the Home Depot stores that sell various building materials, home improvement products, building materials, lawn and garden products, and decor products, as well as provides installation, home maintenance, and professional service programs to do-it-yourself and professional customers. The company also offers installation programs that include flooring, cabinets, and cabinet makeovers, countertops, furnaces, and central air system and windows, and professional installation in various categories sold through its stores and in-home sales programs, as well as acts as a general contractor to provide installation services to its do-it-for-me customers through a third-party installer. In addition, it provides tool and equipment rental services. The company primarily serves homeowners and professional renovators slash remodelers, general contractors, handymen, property managers, building services contractors, and specialty tradesmen such as electricians, plumbers, and painters. It also sells products online. As of August 10, 2021, the company operates 2,298 Home Depot retail stores in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, U.S., Virgin Islands, Guam, 10 Canadian provinces, and Mexico. With a current share price of $372.63, does this company's ticker price actually match its fundamentals? We are going to find out. Hi there, everybody, and welcome to another stock analysis video. We are going to be analyzing today The Home Depot Incorporated. I did Lowe's a while ago, and I didn't think of making Home Depot until now. So we're going to be doing this because I, I, me personally, I prefer Home Depot over Lowe's. And by the way, if anybody wants to know a really, really cool story, look up how this company actually came to be. It is amazing and incredible to hear it. It's absolutely incredible. So let's actually get started with this. Starting off with the dividend summary, Home Depot has a dividend yield of 1.77%, which ends up being about $1.65 a share for an annual payout of $6.60, payout ratio of 45 0.1%. This is in regards to the net income. Obviously, we would, we would like to see this in regards to the free cash flow because cash flow is what companies use to pay their dividends. But we, we are going to take a look at that later. Five-year growth rate of 19.38%, which is absolutely incredible. Dividend growth of 12 years, 13 more years, and they will become a dividend aristocrat. X dividend date of September 1st, payout date of September 16th. So unfortunately, this already passed. However, we are going to see how this company fares and we may want to get in this X dividend date for the month of December. Coming over here to the calculator, we put the ticker symbol HD, ticker price of $372.63, PE of 26.21. This is obviously already saying that this is expensive because me personally, I would like to buy this anything 20 or below. 26 obvious is expensive. However, just because the PE is 26 doesn't necessarily mean that this is an automatic just don't buy. We're going to actually see uh, if this company is worth it. Current market cap of $393.3 billion, which is absolutely massive. Now, before we go on to the fundamentals, I would just like to remind you all that I have made this calculator public. I have a video called Discounted Free Cash Flow Calculator that I just put out a couple days ago. So if you would like it, please just go to that video, go to the link in the, in the description and make a copy of it, okay? So all I ask in return is uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. I really would like to grow my channel. I mean, right now we're at 185 subscribers. I absolutely incredible. I love to see it. And, you know, I would like to get to 200, hopefully by like the end of the year. So if you would like this calculator, it's free, it's available. Just make sure you go to the description of that video and that way you can get it, okay? Now coming over here to the growth assumption, I'm going to assume 10%. The revenue growth year over year, according to Seeking Alpha, is 21.03%. Now, some of you might think that 10% is low, it's not good enough, you know, all this stuff. I get that. And that is why you guys uh, should get this calculator and then put in your own assumptions because your numbers might be different than mine. I'm personally going to go with 10 because I would like to be a little bit more conservative and take into account any mishaps that may happen with the economy. So that's why 
I'm going with 10. Now actually coming over here to the fundamentals, we got net income 2016 of 8 billion to 2020 of 12.9 billion dollars. That is an increase of 47% and this graph, this trend line cannot look smoother. Like it's just absolutely perfect. Their net income is rising very, very steadily and that's just something that you want to see. Next we got the free cash flow 2016, 8.2. 2 billion to 2020 of 16.4 billion dollars that is an increase of 50 percent which is absolutely massive average five-year free cash flow of about 11.3 billion now obviously last year's free cash flow was an outlier and it's mainly because the fact that everybody was home people were doing a lot of repairs so that probably explains why the 2020's cash flow was so high will they be able to maintain this i don't necessarily know but definitely i think that with the amount of houses being sold uh the housing market being this hot people are going to be wanting to make house renovations so i honestly believe that that the free cash flow will continue to increase next we got the revenue 2016 94.6 billion to 2020 of 132 billion dollars that's an increase of 28.4 percent and again the graph has a very very smooth trend going upwards next we got the total debt obviously we would like for this to be decreasing however majority of the time it isn't and as you can see right here it is not 23.6 billion to 42.3 billion that is an increase of 46 percent in debt next we got the shares outstanding and guys this is by far one of the most overlooked markers of analyzing a stock you want the company to be buying back shares because this gives you a bigger piece of the pie if they are diluting you by issuing more shares you are basically owning less of the company so you want them to be buying back shares and we got 2016 1.2 billion to 2021 of 1 billion shares that is a decrease of almost 14% of 13.92%. So this is great. The fact that they are buying back shares and giving the investors a bigger piece of the company. And lastly, we got cash and equivalents. As of 2021, they have $4.6 billion in cash and equivalents. As you can see right here, again, 2020 outlier cash and equivalents of $7.9 billion. That is an average cash and equivalents of $3.75 billion. And with all of those metrics, we get a target share price of $283.74. Adjusting for debt, however, it goes down to $255.43. With a margin of safety of 5, 10, and 15%, we would ideally like to buy this at $242.66, $229.89, and $217.12. So with a current share price of $372, this stock is definitely overpriced and the fact that the pe is now matching my target share price tells me that my estimates are in the correct ballpark now let's actually see if they're even able to pay out this dividend as you all remember home depot pays out an annual dividend of six dollars and sixty cents this means that annually they pay out almost seven billion dollars in dividends after that, they are still left with $4.3, which ends up being a payout ratio in regards to the free cash flow of 61.78%. Ideally, I would like to buy this at anything under 60. However, 61, it's it's fair enough, right? It's, it's, it's fair enough. All in all, the company right now, even though I absolutely love it, it is significantly overpriced. Now, my assumptions of 10% growth rate and the required rate of return of 8.5, you guys may not actually agree with. So again, if you would like this calculator, pl please go into the discount of free cash flow calculator video that I made where I explain how to use this calculator. All I ask for is a subscription. If you like my content, a like and a comment. That's all I ask. It's a, it's free. Anybody can have it. Just make a copy of it and make your own assumptions, right? So that pretty much does it for this episode. Like if you like, comment, subscribe. It really does help her with the algorithm. On YouTube, you can follow me on my new tech sites of BitChu, Odyssey, and Rumble, where in addition to my stock videos and crypto videos, you will also get exclusives as well. All right, so with that said, peace out and be on the lookout for the next stock analysis video.